Well, we're still under caution as they uh, continue to clean up on Dave Rezendi's car, uh, right where the field is right there down in turn number one. Yeah, I know what burnt coffee tastes like, but burnt tea? Oh, uh, not good. Nope. <laughs> we're riding with Mark Martin right now. He's up in the second place, but we understand he has a problem with the carburetor, skipping on restarts and coming up out of the corner. And, Daryl, what did you say he had? <laughs> he borrowed that carburetor from Harry again. <laughs> I'll guarantee you. <laughs> I, 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 bet, I bet he borrowed that car, I'm going to check when the race is over. Let's check with Randy. <laughs> well, yeah, you're absolutely right. He does have a carburetor problem. I talked with uh, crew chief Bobby Leslie. Things been skipping since about lap 20. It really seems to flutter in the corners, and he gets killed on restarts. He's very worried about it. But they have such a fast pit crew. Uh, a lot of these guys, are at least a couple of them, are from the Winston Cup team. And uh, they got out really good in the pits. But uh, he, watch him coming up through the gearbox. He might be in the way. Well, we have something to talk about when we go back to green. I want you to know who's leading this race is Jimmy Spencer. Yeah. And, buddy, he is going to be a force here. You yeah. can believe me. He's one of the hardest men to beat in racing. And, you know, he gets a lot of bad stuff said about him. But I tell you, he's a good race car driver. And he, he does things on the racetrack that let you know he has all the tools to make a winner. Yeah, he does. The thing that's interesting to me, though, is how can a car not be running right. I know the people home got to be asked the same question. This thing is skipping. It won't go on a restart. And the man is running second. Where would he be if well, he was running right? And what Where we're laughing is, about right? is, you know, what we're laughing about is we had a race we did with Harry again. Oh, the car wasn't running oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. He's skipping. The carburetor missed too. Zoom. And he takes off oh, yeah. and runs away from everybody. <laughs> Let's take another break while we're in caution. Hopefully we can come back to green. you got the winning color. Make your engine last longer. Change your oil every 3,000. This is cold. <laughs> this is really cold. Jimmy uh, Spencer doesn't look anything like Ronald McDonald. Now, come on. Yeah. He yeah, is. Uh, he's yeah, a very aggressive driver. That's, that's but I'll tell you. Now, you want to see raw talent? Look at Spencer in qualifying. Watch this save. I'm going to tell you what, guys. You're seeing one of the best right here at saving a car. He gets around. Most people right here would have already decided they were going to tear the car all to pieces. He starts around. Watch him go up towards the wall here. Now, he physically drives this car. Watch him undo the brakes here in a second. You see him unlock the brake here, turn it. Now, he unlocks the brakes and drives away. He saved that race car. A lot of people would knock the wall down. So let's don't give him a, you know, the hard wrap. Everybody's got a little something that they like to kid people about. But Jimmy Spencer's a good race car driver. And, Daryl, you're not saying a word because you got to run against him tomorrow. <laughs> I ain't getting my dog in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go to the hospital. Here's Glenn. Well, Mike, we got an update on Bobby Dodder. Uh, he is okay. He took him in on a stretcher, but he was sitting up talking, complaining of a little pain in his right ribs, right shoulder. He is okay, but he does want to go. Uh, to an ambulance, or to, excuse me, to a hospital outside the speedway here, have some x-rays made. Bobby requested those himself, so he is okay, but uh, doesn't look like he's going to make that trip to Odessa today. Well, if he can't get there, Rick Beebe is set to uh, qualify the car and race it tonight. Spencer is the leader as we go back to green in the Duraloop Chevy number 64. That's got a, Mark Martin right with him. That's a fast car. I watched him practice uh, this morning, and it is a fast car. He's just driving the wheels off of it, just like you see. That green car you see in fourth place back there was Harry Gant coming up through there. Won't be long before he's knocking on the door again, trying to get the lead back. That's Roy Payne. He's passed him there, going into turn three. Roy Payne, a lap down, had a great race last week at Charlotte, finished fourth. Well, see, race strategy starts. Now you start thinking about what am I going to do? And once Harry Gant gets the lead now, He's set for the rest of the race. He can go the rest of the way, doesn't have to pit. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Ah, the question is, you said, when he gets the lead. He hasn't gotten that thing yet. He's got some pretty stiff competition in front of him. He's going to have to work hard now. Yeah, that old car of Mark's just skipping along there. Fairly <laughs> will run. It's good, thing he's, it's good thing he's in the draft, you know, being able to hang on oh. with Jimmy the way he does. You're cold. Ah. Here uh, is Terry Labonte working under Roy Payne and Dale Jarrett coming along up with him in the Shoe World Chevy. Mike Wallace is right there. Mike Wallace, you've seen him get all the way up to third place just before this caution, so he's on his way back up towards the front. That car is flying down the straightaway. He pulls up on Dale Jarrett going into three there. He's not any faster through the corner, but watch that car accelerate up off the corner here. It's really strong. Sixth place, Mike Wallace, number nine. This is the first race Jimmy Spencer has led since last October at Charlotte. First push race. Well, you can bet one thing. He's going to lead it as long as he physically can. You bet. Terry Labonte in fourth, two-time winner this season. Twelve races, ten different winners. You see 
see Mike Wallace there. He may be able to pass Jarrett in a little while if Jarrett moves up a little bit, but he'll have to make an error because those two cars are basically pretty much the same. They're both running quite well. Three car breakaway up front. This is the second pack you're watching here. 87 laps to go. And up front is Jimmy Spencer, whose last win was at Rougemont in August of 92. But his biggest win was at Myrtle Beach in 92 when Spencer made up three laps to win. Right now, what right now you're seeing kind of a, a chess match, if you will. Harry Gant. Uh, Mark knows that Harry's fast, so Mark's going to run as hard as he can to see if he can race Harry or not. If he can't, you're going to see Harry go by, him, and that's the end of the race. I tell you, it looks like uh, Harry Gant may have a little bit quicker car. Mark's car did not come off the corner quite good enough. He might be having that carburetor problem, but for the past couple of times up here at Dover, I guarantee you when Harry Gant gets out of the car, if he wins the race, first thing he'll say is that old thing was skipping about halfway down the straightaway. <laughs> come on. Yeah. That's two of the best running skipping cars I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> On the lead lap, there are 26 cars. Jimmy Spencer started 21st. He's your leader. By the last 11 laps. Mark Martin started 17th and has come up to second place. And Harry Gann in third started 27th and has moved up to third. You know, I'm sure people wonder. I, I, I even wonder myself. Qualify so far back in the field, but always run well in the race, get to the front. And that's really just the way the driver likes the car. He sets the car up to be comfortable. That car down on the bottom of the racetrack was Kenny Wallace, who'd come back out of the garage, and I don't know if he's going to make it all the way around. Yes, he will. He's in turn three on the apron. You know, Daryl, I never miss driving these things until they show that camera on top of the car it looks just like it looks inside the race car when you're driving and every time it does that I start sweating on my palms a little <laughs> yeah, bit yeah it doesn't matter if you just when you're watching a race like we are and I know you're the same way if you've ever driven one of these things you do your heart pounds your hands your palms get sweaty and you get nervous I mean you really get into what's going on Kenny Wallace will limp it behind the wall he's done for the day Oh, I wouldn't say that. I think that's the third time he's done yeah. All <laughs> right. You see, Terry Labonte moved into the picture frame here. He and Mike Wallace have been running nose to tail, and they are catching the lead cars now. We're going to have a five-car battle before too long here. Well, I think what you're saying, Jimmy, we know Jimmy. He ain't going to hold back. He's no. running that thing as hard as it'll go. I believe Mark and uh, Harry, on the other hand, they're thinking, I got 80 laps to go, and they're saving a little something. Terry Labonte's good at that, too. Steve Grissom just makes a pit stop. Oh, Under Spencer green. almost got in the outside wall yeah. there. I tell you, he, I think he hit the right rear just a little bit. Folks, it's going to get exciting here at Dover. 120 laps complete. Mark Martin starts to have a look at the leader. We'll be right back. Time to, time to go away because a lot happened, but we had to do it. Mark Martin is the leader. Jimmy Spencer's car got way loose out of turn two. Let's show you what happened here. He got a little high off of that corner, and uh, Mark's trying to get a nose up under him. And uh, I think that's uh, that's really the pass there. I don't think we saw him getting loose. Well, Harry Gant thinks better of going under Spencer. He started to stick that nose under there, but Harry Gant got extremely loose, and he had to check up there or either spin out. He got really loose coming up off four, and he dropped all the way to fifth place. Yeah. And I think the fastest car on the racetrack right now is Mike Wallace, who's in third place. Let's go to his pit with Randy. Well, Mike Wallace's crew, uh, these guys are very, very animated. Every time Mike comes by, these guys stand up, clap, cheer. They're all behind their driver, but Mike Wallace, as you guys said, still got a ways to go. He's got a couple of tough competitors, one with a so-called carburetor problem standing in front of him, running up front. I want a carburetor just like it. Well, you got to remember something. These are yeah. smart bunch of guys, yeah. and uh, they scan each other on the radios, and we're sitting up here, we kind of fall for it ourselves. They think, well, Mark's got a carburetor problem. He won't be any factor at all, but he is. A he has got a hungry dog on his back bumper. I guarantee you. Jimmy Spencer running back down there, but look at Mike Wallace dog him on the inside there. If he gets one nose up, if he gets up to the door, I think Mike Wallace will go right on in a second, and then he'll give Mark all he can stand. See, Jimmy's car is loose, and you
you can you can drive a loose race car fast as long as there's nobody pressured. Mark pressured him. He had to get it. He got a little loose, and then Mark got by him. As long as Michael stay back off his back bumper, I think Jimmy can hang in there. 